Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have talked to the author of Freight Forwarding. Thank you so much for contacting me. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Anyway, he recommended some additional mods. Um, he's going to be changing the um, train progression. Uh, and we're going to start out with mini trains. So I'm going to go ahead and add that as a mod. Um, but it's going to be incorporated into the mod pack as in you have to unlock these first and then you can use regular trains later. Um, I've never used mini trains, so we'll see what it is. Um, also he recommended that I download this and I'm kind of like, Oh God, that seems a bit cheaty, but it's, I don't know. Is it cheaty? I don't know. So this, it says you can configure any machine from the map without allowing item transfer. So it maintains a vanilla feel, allows wire placement and entity copy and paste at any distance. Now we've solved these problems with vanilla, but it's kind of inconvenient. You know, sometimes you have to deconstruct stuff and repaste. Eh, I don't know. And I mean, we are using bots from the future. I don't know. I think it's, it's okay based on our desire to be efficient with what we do. So we're adding that right now. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and continue our save. And we're here. Hooray. Woo. All right. Um, right. We left the factory in a state of lack of power. Oh yes. Cause we didn't build a belt down there because belts are so expensive. Oh my God. They're so expensive. Um, they are very, very expensive. I guess I can put in a bit of coal here for now. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh my goodness. The singing cat is here. We found the singing cat. I know there's singing happening. I'm wondering if I should make a belt mall right here. I mean, even before we put in any other smelting columns, uh, maybe what we could do is make it the width of a smelting column and then, um, like put it here, for example, uh, just for the width, let's find, let's see, this is, we'll just copy this bit here. Hi, hi, brown cat. How you doing? You doing good? Oh my God. That's a beautiful brown cat. You always got to keep track of your brown cats. They are so nice. Brown cats are great. Come on, my little brown cat. Hello. Hello. All right. So let's see. We have this, which, uh, let's do something like that. I don't know. I don't know where this is even going to go. All right, let's go here. Uh, and we need, we need to get, okay. There is no stuff here. None. We definitely need to make more of these, uh, thingy thingies. Okay. Good, good. Okay. So that's making more of this stuff, which gives us the ability to make more of that stuff. And I'm going to get some more of this stuff so we can keep on fueling our, our industrial might and power. Yes, that too. Okay. So gives us a little bit more building power. Let's make more inserters. I feel like we definitely need more of those. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So let's see if we get this going, we can get, see that needs to go there. That goes there. This goes into a box. Let's put these guys a little bit closer just to make sure that we can get them with our power poles. I think we can also put some gears on this belt here because 
we need to uh, extend that into the next machine, which that's going to be here with these guys. Okay, so yeah, we're going to need more plates, more gears, and that is what's going to lead us to freedom. No, uh, it's going to lead us into success. And yes, I suppose belt freedom is freedom. So yeah, that will work as a, as a thing. Okay, there we go. And this, what are we missing? Ah, oh, we're missing inserters. Uh, no, we're not missing inserters. We're missing these guys. Okay, that's fine. Let's just grab that. Grab more of that. And grab these. And um, I'm going to make five of those. And then the rest can go to belts. All right. So, um, yeah. Oh, yep. Coal. Coal, coal. Nice. Okay. Okay. Things have happened and stuff. This is good. Um, this can go through here maybe to connect to the other thing. This is a very temporary belt setup, by the way. This is very temporary. Extremely temporary. Um, come on, make stuff. Go, go, go. It's making a lot of gears and stuff. I really should maybe, maybe just have like a gear maker to put it into a box. All right, we need to get boxes made. Also, please excuse my voice. I am, um, it's early in the morning as I record this. And um, I haven't had a chance to warm up my voice, but I did have an extra hour in the morning. I have an appointment in a bit. And um, I uh, thought, hey, let's use the time. Why not? Okay, we need five of these or more than five. Let's see, how's this going? That's ah, fine. It's plenty. Plenty, plenty. I'm going to also go and uh, get some of these... Uh, these guys just got to check that every now and again, kind of pull them out. Okay. Nice. Okay. So things have happened and stuff. Okay. We're now going to get belts. We're now going to get belts. I guess we can take this one. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Exactly. Kind of want to have four. That's four of those. Let's put this one down here because I don't really, I, I like, oh no, not, not even there further down to have two spaces between. Now the reason people have two spaces between is so that when you do your, these guys, you have the ability to go in and out of an area, right? And the four is because of the max length of the yellow undergroundy. Just FYI, in case you didn't know about that. Um, you definitely deal with a lot of, um, minimums and maximums in, uh, in the game for sure. Okay. So I can also make my own thingy thingies and let's make some of those, some undergroundies. So we have, wow, we actually have automated something. This is great. I'm, I'm just like, Oh, what do we do next? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> it just feels weird. Oh dear. Okay. That's fine. No worries. We'll figure it out. Okay. So we are getting, um, inserters, which is great. Uh, but not really for long because we are not, um, we haven't automated much. We've automated a single line of product, which is not great. So what we need to do next is automate um, the, uh, iron. I think we need to take all this stuff up. Let's get some of these. Um, do we delete it all? I guess so. Um, how are we good doing over here? Okay. The coal is backing up, which is not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Um, we might need to do a box here. Let's put in a box. Put that here. 
Because this needs to just... Because this is never gonna... Never gonna work. Um, this, this may just be way too much coal for us. But we'll see if we can buffer it a bit and see how that works. All right, let's go ahead and just delete all this stuff here. But yeah, we need to get this iron flowing. And, um, but this will, this will help us. What we're going to do now is going to help us immensely. So, um, I want to make more mining drills. 22? Sure, that sounds great. Um, so we're going to start off with the regular, uh, let's start off with doing, not that, not quite that. Want to leave a space for a belt there? All right, go away. And this belt is going to go this way. And then this belt is going to go like this. And we need to make sure that we can put in, you know, the power pole right here so it hits both of these machines. All right. And then here, what we want to do is put in a splittery do and make sure that we input priority from the left. Basically, we use everything from the mix belt uh, possible. Now, I've seen people complaining that, oh my God, mix patches are so hard. I'm like, dude, you never played it back in the day, did you? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Before they had uh, priority splitters, that used to not be a thing. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. no meowing to me about that. Cause I'll just give you a lion's roar back. That is just, um, it's a funny thing that, all right, so let's go and grab, uh, the belts that we've made. We have made several, uh, except we, <laughs> we no longer have any because the bots have taken them all up. Okay. Interesting. All right, and let's just add these guys out here. Oh, I forgot about these seams. Oh no. Okay, uh, I forgot about that. That's not ideal. It's completely not ideal. Okay, this is not great. Let me just move this one over so that we can take up the most we can with this. Okay, there. I'm just gonna space these out a tiny bit. And I wonder if we should do that up here as well, probably. Yep, just put it in the last space available. And we'll find a way to work in um, machines in, are on this seam here. I've never had a complicated seam like this, so this is like interesting to me. I find it fascinating. Okay. We can actually put these here if it helps us. Okay, cool. So now we go up, we collect belts. No, oh God. I'm gonna have to start like turning off my bots. <laughs> oh no, we could do this though. We can just walk here because we did actually have 11 left. Okay, nice, very nice. So all this extra ore is really gonna do well for us here. Um. How's this going? Okay. We have one extra belt. Hooray. Hooray. Uh, okay. 11 mining drills. I'm kind of tempted to, let's see, we need to, how much copper do we need? We don't need more than that for sure. We already have tons of copper. Okay. Let's put this here. Um, how do I want this to go? This seems pretty rough. Maybe like that. I don't know. Could do something like this. That might work better. Better. Um, let's see. If I put that one there. Oh yeah, that's still mixed if I do that. All right. Okay, so those are the new mixed stuff. Uh, I do feel like I should maybe farm copper after this and put in a, a very nice and handy furnace setup for that. Oh my God, 
This the belt expenses are crazy. I I kind of feel like oh should I bother with this? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Um. One thing I should have done is. Maybe I put the belt here and just have the miners underneath it. That, I think, would be a good idea. But we are getting more iron, so that's good. Let's just grab some of this iron. And build some more mining drills. There they are. I don't know why, my, but my brain keeps telling me, Ah! That's a, that's a, a burner. No, it's not a burner. It really isn't. I know my burners. Mm-hmm. Mm Okay, let's go here and get in one of these guys. Okay, there we go. That's something. It doesn't cover the entire patch, but it's okay. It's better than nothing, I suppose. This one features there. Okay. Also, um... No, oh, that messes this up. <laughs> that messes this thing up. Uh, should we? Should we not? I don't know, actually. Could we put this belt downward? Maybe. If we did this. And moved this belt. Let's move this. And then this one would go there. Ah, this one does not go there, though, because it's... No, it's wrong. It be wrong. Okay, I can move that one up, though. All right, cool. And these guys, we can... We can add via splittery do, just uh, for sidedness and stuff. Okay. More belts. More belts. God, I feel like I need an entire smelting column just to just to make belts. How are we doing with binding drills? We're doing okay. We're not doing too bad. Okay, so uh let's just try to organize this here. Okay. Right, and I ran out. Okay, that's fun. Okay, it's all good. Let's grab our more belts. More belts. Belts are good. Belts are tasty, nice. They're wonderful. All right, um, let's get these guys connected now. Move them around. All right, nice. I don't want to delve into the stone just yet. Um, let's see. I feel like this stuff. Hmm. We need to get stuff off of this side here. Uh, we really need to make a sidedness change here or a better configuration in any case. Do I have space? No. We have to move these boxes. That's ah, okay. We'll, we'll change this up anyway. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Boom. That's beautiful. Okay, now we just need to get... I'll turn off the bots so that we can really target our transport belts and where they need to go. What is what is needed here? It looks like we need more, uh, more stuff there. More inserter. Hello? Oh, there we go. 
Okay, so this should help us. Oh, wow. We already ran out of coal that fast. Holy fuzzy cats. Jeez. All right, which means we need to really hurry and get a belt down here because this is annoying. I'm not a fan of no belts uh, to do coal. I know that one of my friends just like persistently like never does enough. Um, let's see. Let's do a... We need to do a, a belt here. Um... Oh, really? I don't have enough of these? Okay. Weird. Okay, weird. Oh, and I need one there as well. Oh my god, I need so much iron right now. Okay. Let's see. Let's do... What am I missing? Wood? How do I need wood to make a splitter? That's weird. Okay, bots on, please. Okay, let's make a few of those. All right, that's fine. Uh, all right, now, so we're we're taking the coal off of here because we have too much coal, right? Um, this is a good way to prioritize this because it will fill the back of the belt, and the stuff in the front of the belt will not be able to um, push out onto the belt since there's already going to be product there. So it's a way of prioritization. There are several ways to prioritize stuff. Okay, let's go here. Don't go in the middle of your power poles. It's very expensive on underground use. Okay. Okay, there we go. Boom. Nice. Very nice. So we need to grab this. But I'm also going to just put in lots of uh, coal here because we want those furnaces to be working. We want that automatically working. Um, we want the you know inserters and stuff to be handling this. I can grab some of the excess plates and just make some belts on my own. I think that's needed right now. Also, I think we can put in some of this excess stuff over here. But I'm notice that I'm not putting down another smelting column yet. I really need to get this uh, power situation figured out. That's super important, um, so that we can have this automated. I the thing I detest in games is when, or in this game specifically, is when you cannot automate stuff, like burner phases in games. No, just absolutely no. Not a thing that works for me. I don't find that to be fun or interesting um, when you have to hand feed everything. It's terrible. Okay, let's see. Can we... Do we have more? More, more, more? There we go. Nice. All right. We're getting there. Tiny, tiny bits at a time. All right, this is going to give us a huge glut of, uh, of, of belts, so that's going to be good. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. So let's see. That's looking okay so far. It's not too bad. Uh, what is... Oh, now we're being held up by copper. All right. That's not ideal. But it's okay because we have the rest of the line producing iron. It's no longer like a single mixed line. Uh, the other one is just now coming through. So that's that's okay. It's a good good thing. As in, you know, this line is producing up here even if this one is clogged. Um, but that will, that'll sort itself out eventually. Okay. 34. All right. I'm going to grab some from here. You can also just raid 
these smelting thingies if stuff is already on the ground. Oh, that's so nice. Let's make some stuff and things. Let's go. Yo. Okay, so we're now getting belts. Hooray. We have the inserters already placed, which is even more hooray. Okay. Boom. Rrr. Okay. Let's give you some fuel. Don't take... Wait, wait, wait. Not my wood. I want you only to have coal. I guess it automatically prioritizes wood, but like this is the phase of the game where I'm still making power poles and stuff. So, yeah. All right. Cool. Very nice. We're doing things and stuff. Uh, all right. So that's happening. The coal is, is working quite nicely. Good, good. Um... I guess now is the time we can we can actually um, make this smelting column over here for for copper. We're gonna need it for things like green circuits. So let's go ahead and place that one down, and that's gonna get built. I want to go and grab some more of these uh, furnaces. It's good to just grab them every now and again. Very very good. Okay, nice. We're going to need a kabillion inserters for that. Which we might be in a bit of trouble because we don't actually have any. Nah, we got plenty of copper. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I was just thinking like we need green circuits. And for that, we do need copper for green circuits. Okay. Just give away all of the stuff in our inventory we really don't need. Let's see. These guys. Let's put in stone. More stone. Good, good. All right, so this isn't quite a full belt. Um, I would like to increase that. Do we have a little bit more? We do actually. So we're gonna we're gonna carefully, like, let's see, four and then three. Okay. Oh no, no, no those are too high. Whoops. I was trying to grab the entire thingy thingy. Oh, you know what? We're gonna just do that one there, and the rest can be. In alignment here I think yeah that that will work okay yeah careful to create to not create T junctions because if you do this oh not that um, if you do this then you're going to have the entire thing, the line, the whole line going on one side of the belt and this one on the other. So that's bad. <laughs> that's not good. You want to do this so it just feeds onto the side without uh, splitting the entire line in half. Okay. This is looking pretty good. All right. What are we, what are we doing now? We're waiting for belts to be made. Okay. That's okay. Good, good. So now we can also take this. And just take this up here, making sure that we get uh, where we're going there. Okay. Looks like we definitely need some more undergroundies. So I'll go and raid the furnaces again and make a few undergroundies. We'll, we'll get a proper belt mall soon. Um, which we definitely need. Okay, so let's, we have three of these. We don't have any of those. We'll make another few uh, splittery dues since the factory is making the belts, which only 17 at a time. Tiny bit of sadness there, but it's okay. You know what? We're going to overproduce and it's going to be fine. Nobody is going to be able to shame us for our unbeltedness. It is fine. It is just fine. Okay, and then I think I'll make more inserters with all that seems like a good idea all right yeah and there we go our belts are being made and so our robots are just flying out just quite uh um having a nice time there and enjoying themselves and oh, oh sorry about that um yeah they're having a great time bots bots are are very friendly kind of happy-go-lucky creatures you can tell they're just they're just happy critters they fly and and they enjoy um kind of 
you know, frolicking about the skies, the friendly skies. <laughs> oh. And um, so we give them leave to do so. It's great. Okay. Uh, looks like we are needing, what are we needing now? We need coal. Okay. That's just fine. Looks like we'll have to move that just a tiny bit. Okay, and then move this power, power pole there. Move that one there. Okay, that should give us plenty of stuff, but man, we got to craft. Oh boy, we're crafting a lot of stuff by hand. I, I don't like crafting things by hand in general because it just takes forever. That's why we have a factory, so we don't have to have craft by hand. That is the point of having a factory, really. Okay, there we go. And looks like the coal is building up here. That's great. What are we looking at with in terms of power? We are at eh, three quarters. Okay, that means we probably should expand this just a tiny bit. Let's get a few stone pipes made. Uh, that's again a Bob's thing, I think. Um, but I don't mind. It's okay. We can play with stuff and things. I don't mind. Stuff and things are great. Okay, so electricity, let's make five of these and 10 of those. It's easy because you just right click on it and it's five automatically um, instead of having to count. Of course, you always need double the amount of boiler or double the amount of steam engines to deal with the steam from the boilers that has been made. So that's an easy, easy ratio. It used to be like what was it like 13 to 20 or something like that? It was some weird, insane combination of numbers. You know, you say that though, but like numbers, it's nice to have fives and tens, but you don't strictly need them. I mean, it's not always that you use zeros. You can use other numbers. It's okay. I think maybe we should be less hostile to other numbers. Maybe we should we should actively work on this because that could actually be kind of important. Um, especially if you need to leave it 517 or something like that. I mean, I know the value of numbers because Matthias often will... <laughs> I get so excited when he quotes me the time in seconds. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm weird. It's okay. But he likes my weirdness, so I'm okay. <laughs> it's funny, though. The whole, like, time in seconds. And and I no longer say, ah, it's about 5.30. No, no, it is not. It is 5.29. Mm-hmm. It ain't 5.30 in any stretch of the imagination. It's like this. I There was once... I went to the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, and there was this, like... There, I like this puzzle thing, the whole, the clock question of like, which is more accurate, a clock that loses a minute, an hour, or one that is uh, stopped? And I'm like, no, it's got to be close. If it's like, even if it's losing a minute, an hour, it's still going to be closer. But close doesn't count because even a stopped clock is right twice a day and only twice a day. <laughs> So, but the other one is, is, is right. I don't know how long it would take. It, it would take quite a while, quite a few minutes to, to get round to being actually accurate again, like strictly accurate, not, we can't do these almost X 30, whatever. No, 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 no. That don't count. Apparently. See, I thought I was smarter, but no, apparently I ain't. It's fine. We don't care. So let's see, do we have enough coal? I think so. Yes, that seems okay. We are actually lacking the copper right now. So that is going to come with the finishing of the undergroundies. Pretty excited about that. Let's go. All these gears, my God. I feel like I should be like just making gears. I'm going to make gears. Copy, paste, and... Here you go in here and output into a box, please. There we go. All right, good. Cause I'm really tired of crafting 112 gears. No, God, 
Why do you people need so many gears? Okay, finally, we're going to get um, our copper. That means we're releasing the pressure on this whole system over here because now we can actually sort through some of this, which is good. All right, so this is giving given an input priority, which is also great. Uh, it'll use the stuff from the mixed belt first. This is how you do stuff. Like if you have mixed patches like this and lines, I love making these like special lines of stuff. It's the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you really have to sort like if you did just straight across lines, you'd have to sort every single line. So I don't I don't bother with that. That seems a little bit too annoying to me. So I just sort it once on on one you know long line. And then you do input priorities uh, for everything else. So I've shown you how to do this one as an input priority on the splitter do. And this one, of course, is an input priority backing up this, um, this belt here. What we really should do on this one though, is because of we're having this, um, cycling through the, through the thingy. So we need to balance this again. Uh, there we go. So basically we want this to go on both sides of the belt uh, and that'll block this one from, from functioning. Did we get to the, no, they're at the end of the crafting queue. Good Lord. Do we really need this many thingies? Yeah, we kind of do, don't we? All right. Anyway, let's get this thing back down to where it belongs. I usually like to do this like replace method of belting because it works really well. So what I'm going to do is we are going to put in the smelters. Um, let's see, we want to have four probably and yeah, let's just do four and four. So let's see, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and four. Now this is going to cover green circuits as well. A lot of this is going to go just to green circuits. Um, so we need to go and keep on collecting stuff. Also, if you're wondering about these lines with my robots, that is actually a vanilla feature. It's the F4 menu. And if you do a search for bot, show player robots. That's what this is. Show logistics robot. No. I was hoping it would show like Spider-Tron robots as well with like purple or something, um, but it doesn't. Anyway, uh, this is what we got. So yay. Um, I think this might be enough copper even to satisfy our wonderful tastes in this for now, for the moment. Okay. Um, so here is where we want to build green circuits. And I'm going to get out my blue, blue blueprint for green circuits. Um, it's basically, it, it works on the three to two ratio. And here it is. This is really handy. I really like this blueprint because it works quite well. I'm going to leave a little bit of space. I always like to leave some space. Really nice. Just leave space. Breathe. Breathe in Factorio. It's fine. Okay. Here's where we put in our first um, iron line. And then this is our, our first bit of uh, copper. Let's just do a thingy here. Okay, so let's explain what's going on here. So we have uh, copper cable machines that are fed by a um, line of copper plates. And then those get fed into green circuits. And then uh, the green circuits get fed by this line here, which is iron. Um, those get up, up, up taken, up took? No, up taken, I think. They, they, they get took up. They, they just plum get took up. And then they output, this is kind of a nice uh, design here where they, they output onto this belt and these two merge into one. So it's already putting on both sides of the belt and then those go toward the center. Now these four center lines, they are all green circuits. But 
I usually, what I usually do with this is I prioritize them to the center too, and then use those as my uh, green circuit lines. So let's see, uh, this is going to be four lines here. And then one, two, three, four there. So these are going to need to go here. Like there, this, these will be green circuits on our bus. Okay. Now a bus is basically a river of material that flows through the landscape and uh, transports all the items. It literally buses them. Uh, so that's why we call it a bus. I think people got it from the computer terminology of a bus because there are buses inside your computer, believe it or not. I know, weird. Like, you would hardly guess. They must be electric because, like, you don't even smell the fumes. Humor. Haha. -ha. Anyway, terrible joke. We apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, we need to go and get more belts. Let's get those. Um, and then those are going to fly off and get used immediately. Perfect. Okay. That's good. And then I will grab a little bit more uh, this stuff, iron. I'm also going to grab all the gears that we have in this box. Wow, 400. We should probably limit this. <laughs> we should probably limit this box severely. Uh, but we don't need to limit that box. We don't need to limit that at all. Mm -mm. Um, we do need to have some more miners. Let's make more miners. Those look very nice. Okay, and then we're going to go and place down the uh, steam engines that we need. So, let's see. Um, I guess I can just copy the whole thing over. Copy this and add there. Perfect. Okay, and we have nothing. <laughs> we have nothing! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, here, take, oh, no, no, not my wood, not my wood, man. Don't take my wood. Mm -mm. Uh, let's go and get more materials, because it's clear we need more, um, uh, inserters. Need more inserters. Let's take this stuff. Yeah, this isn't even up yet. No. Well, I mean, we are massively increasing the scale of our industrial operations here. And you don't have to build all of these at once. In fact, I probably should tear a couple of them down. Um, but it's okay. I think it'll be fine if we just do this this way. Um, we could just try to prioritize our bots to this area instead. And just like walk in the lower parts of the map. Or just turn them off whenever we're uh, not using them. I think that's a better idea. Okay, let's get this stuff. Belts. Uh, we'll go down here. But look, no gear, gear crafting. No gear crafting. Hooray. There we go. Okay. And we now got our belts. So let's turn off the robots again. We'll go and get even more belts. And I think we have issues now with, we need uh, further automation. Uh, we don't actually have any science going. So that's a thing that I would like to get sorted. Um, better assembling machines are under green. So we need to get those very shortly in order to kind of make our uh, green circuit operation smoother. Let's see. Let me get some lights. And electronics are good. Oh, yeah. Filter inserter. I really don't. One thing I don't like about Bob's is that, like, they change the colors of the inserters. I'm like, why? Why you do? Why, why you got to make it more complicated? Like, there's no need for that. Just make it normal, like, so people can read it from vanilla. For goodness sake, come on. Be, be reasonable. We're humans. We need to, like, recognize patterns and familiarity. It's a thing. Yeah. Anyway, that was the worst job. Like, bots, why do you got to do this? Why don't you place them all in a chunk uh, where it makes sense, you know? Okay, well, you can't reason with the bots. They, they're worse than cats, I think. I mean, in general, in terms of, of that kind of thing. All right, what were we going to make? We were going to make... Um, what were we going to make? Oh, science. Of course. We need science. Uh, yeah. 
There's a, there's a, there's quite a variety of science uh, that we can use here. I'm just going to build it uh, from scratch because I don't know what the rest of this mod pack holds. Um, looks like so far it's very vanilla and that's okay. But I'm going to save the science for the next episode because I need to go. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.